So my name is Miss Afton and I am the children's librarian at the Alexander Hamilton Library and thanks for joining us for another Music and Mother Goose story time. So this morning our theme is going to be little pigs. So you might be able to guess what our story is going to be. And this one is a really fun program with some different songs and a fun story and a twist on the classic story that is a really wonderful comprehension activity. So today we're going to practice comprehension and sequencing by doing some retelling of the classic story, The Three Little Pigs. So sequencing and comprehension are really great activities for kids when they're retelling a story, putting the events that happen in the story in order, and showing that they really remember and that they heard what was happening is always a great way to follow up with kids because you can be the best reader pronouncing words and figuring out sounds, but if you don't understand what you're reading, you're really not going to benefit from reading and it's not going to be really worth much. So we hope that you enjoy our story time program for today. Enjoy these fun songs. And we'd like to say a very special hello this morning to Marley and Jane. Good morning, Marley. Good morning, Jane. We hope that you enjoy our little pigs. So good morning, Marley, good morning, Jane, and good morning to all of our friends at home. Let's start today with our hello song, where we'll clap and sing hello, we'll clap and sing hello, with our friends at story time, we'll clap and sing hello. And then of course, give a big crazy clap at the end. Let's sing. We clap and sing hello, we clap and sing hello, with our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Crazy clap. <laughs> All right, very good. Now, since our theme today is little pigs, next I want to oink and sing hello. Will you do it with me? Let's sing. We oink and sing hello. We oink and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we oink and sing hello. So push up your nose and let's do our best oink. So you can go oink, 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 oink. Or if you can do a pig sound going, let's try that. All right, very good. And I hope that now you are ready to get started. So friends, today let's start with a really fun rhyme from Jay Brary called To Market to Market. And this is a really fun one to do together. So I'm going to have my Gruffalo friend. Can you say good morning, Gruffalo? Good morning. So the Gruffalo is going to help me today because he's got something very special that we're going to use for our next rhyme. So for this song, this is a really fun lap bouncing chant that you can sing to help us start thinking about going to market. And when we go to the market, let's see what we can buy. Today, I want to get a, a pig and let's also get a, an even bigger pig, a hog. Then after we get our pig and our hog, we need something refreshing to eat to wash it down. So let's see, what's a refreshing fruit that you can eat like this? <gasps> let's get some apples and then we'll finish it off with a plum bun for dessert. So for this one, you can bounce on a lap and I'm going to bounce from side to side. All right, you can also bounce up and down. You can do big bounces and you can turn your friend around to face you. That's usually more fun. But for this one, I want the Gruffalo to see you. So he'll face the front. So our rhyme goes like this. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. To market, to market, to buy a sweet treat. Home again, home again, apples to eat. Then to market, to market, to buy a plum bun. 
Home again, home again. Market is done. So let's do it one more time and we'll go back and forth. Maybe you can go up and down. Let's try it again. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. To market, to market, to buy a sweet treat. Home again, home again, apples to eat. To market, to market, to buy a plum bun. Home again, home again, market is done. So we hope that you enjoyed To Market To Market. This is, again, just a really fun one to practice bouncing and to do some rhythm. You can also use sticks, clap your hands, but we really like to bounce. And now, friends, it's time for our friend the Gruffalo to really shine. So our next rhyme is a classic rhyme all about piggies who go to market or stay home. And for this one, it's a really fun toe counting song. So you can also do this counting on your fingers together if you're practicing that dexterity. So motor movement. But for really little ones, it's a really fun one to just do the little piggies on their toes. But you can see with my friend the Gruffalo, how many toes does he have? One, two, three, four. On his foot, he only has four toes. So when we get to our very last piggy, I'm going to grab his whole foot. But you would just do the smallest toe. So this is a really classic one. We're guessing you probably know this one at home, but let's sing, let's chant about the little piggies who went to market. So this little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef and this little piggy had none. Then this little piggy went all the way home and that's a fun one to do a really nice snuggle on and maybe a little tickle wee, 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 wee. Okay, let's do it one more time we'll do the other foot so this little piggy went to market this little piggy stayed home this little piggy had roast beef mm -hmm. And this little piggy had none. Then this little piggy went wee, wee, wee all the way home. And that's the little piggies who went to market. So for our story today, we are going to be reading, of course, The Three Little Pigs. But today we actually found a copy on Hoopla Digital, which is a free ebook service that we offer with your library card that we're going to be reading. So our story today is The Three Little Pigs, retold by MJ York and illustrated by Laura Ferrero Close. So that means that MJ York is telling us the story today and Laura is the one who drew the pictures. The three little pigs. And there they are. Let's count. How many pigs do you see? We have one with straw on his back, two with sticks on his back, and three with what in his hand? Bricks. So once upon a time, an old mother pig and her happy family fell into misfortune. And so she sent her three little pigs out in the world to make their own way. So off they go. Bye, Mom. The first little pig went out into the world. He soon settled down and built himself a little house made of straw. Before long, a big bad wolf came along and saw the little straw house. He looked in the window and saw the first little pig inside. The big bad wolf knocked on the door and called, Little pig, little pig, let me in. 
the first little pig cried, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. So that's a no. So what does the wolf do? He says, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the big bad wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The big bad wolf found the first little pig and he gobbled him up. Oh no. Let's see what happens next. The second little pig went out into the world. He soon settled down and built himself a little house of sticks. Before long, the big bad wolf came along and saw the little house of sticks. He looked in the window and saw the second little pig inside. So the big bad wolf knocked on the door and called. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. The second little pig cried, Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, growled the big bad wolf. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in down. He found the second little pig and he gobbled him up. Oh no, the second pig is gone too. What do you think happens to the third pig? The third little pig went out into the world. He soon settled down and built himself a little house of bricks. Do you think bricks will be stronger than a house of straw? or a house of sticks? Bricks are pretty strong. Before long, the big bad wolf came along and saw the little house of bricks. He looked in the window and saw the third little pig inside. The big bad wolf knocked on the door and called, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The first little pig cried, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the big bad wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and puffed again. But he could not blow down the house of bricks. The big bad wolf knew he would have to be clever to catch the third little pig. Little pig, he called, I know where to pick the sweetest turnips. Come out and I'll show you. No, thank you, said the pig politely. He knew the wolf was trying to trick him. I don't like turnips. And the big bad wolf went away. So. Do you think that's true? Does the little pig not like turnips? No, he has some in his hand right there, but he doesn't want the wolf to eat him. The next day, the big bad wolf came back. Little pig, he called, I'm going to the fair. Will you come with me? No, thank you, said the pig. I have no money for the fair. And the big bad wolf went away again. The next day, the big bad wolf came back once more. Little pig, he called, the best apples grow in Farmer Brown's garden. Come out and I'll show you where they are. The pig knew the big bad wolf would never leave him alone. He had a plan. I'll meet you tomorrow at five o'clock, he replied. What do you think the pig will do? The next day, the pig ran out of his house at four o'clock. So four is before five. He ran to Farmer Brown's garden. He picked a big basket of apples and ran home again. He put a big pot on the fire to heat water for his tea. The big bad wolf came back at five o'clock. 
Little pig, he called, are you ready to go to Farmer Brown's garden? I have already been and come home again, said the pig. At this, the wolf grew angry. He had tried to trick the pig three times and it had not worked. He wanted to eat the pig now. He got a running start and leaped high into the air. He landed on the roof with a loud thump. He jumped down the chimney and splash landed in the big pot of boiling hot water. Woo! That was the end of the wolf. And the little pig lived happily ever after in his little brick house. And that is the end of our story. So this story had a longer finish than our classic tale, a little more drawn out with some extra tricks, but the same ending. So the wolf maybe should not have been trying to trick the pig so much and should have been happy with his other two pig meals. And so this book is available anytime on our Hoopla digital service. Again, it is free with your library card. We hope that you enjoy. That was a really great classic story with the three little pigs. Now let's see what you can remember. So in our story, how many little pigs were there? There was one, two, three little pigs. So we had three little pigs and who else was in the story? Someone big and bad who liked to <gasps> blow houses down. It was the wolf. So for our next chant, this is a really fun comprehension and sequencing activity where we'll retell the story with our three little pig fingers and our wolf hand with some fun actions. So we have, there were three little piggies sitting in a house. Along came a wolf as quiet as a mouse. He said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. So that old wolf huffed <gasps> and that old wolf blew <sighs> and away that little piggy flew. Then how many piggies are left? Only two. Oh, two little piggies sitting in a house. Along came a wolf, quiet as a mouse. He said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. So that old wolf huffed <gasps> and he and that old wolf blew. <sighs> And away that little piggy flew. So now, how many piggies are left? One little piggy. So there was a little piggy sitting in a house. Along came a wolf as quiet as a mouse. He said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So that old wolf huffed and that old wolf blew and away that little piggy flew. So now, how many piggies are left? None. 
There were no little piggies sitting in a house when along came a wolf, quiet as a mouse. He said, "Little pig, little pig, let me come in." But there was no one there to answer him. So that old wolf turned and walked away, and he said, "I'll be back another day." Then those three little piggies back into their beds did creep, and they fell fast asleep. Sleep, <laughs> and that's a loose retelling of our story, the Three Little Pigs. So we had our three little pigs and the big bad wolf. So that is our Three Little Piggies retelling. Friends, it is time for us to say goodbye. So for our goodbye song each week, we do our. American Sign Language sign for goodbye, which is waving. Then we'll say goodbye to our friends. So let's get our friend fingers ready. So we'll take our two fingers and link them together. So goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. We'll do that three times, and then it's time. So point to your watch or your pretend watch. It's time to say. Point to your mouth. Goodbye. All right, let's sing it.、Oh, goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. So thank you for joining us today, friends, and we hope that we'll see you next week for another music and mother goose story. So we'll have a new theme next week that's really fun and really fast. And don't forget that you can share your favorite song or your favorite part of this story time today. Or just your favorite nursery rhyme in the comments, or with me at a francis at a h m f l dot org. It'll be in the description to get a secret code worth thirty bonus points for our summer reading program. So we hope to hear what you like to sing, and we hope that we'll see you next week. Bye, friends. Bye.